Welcome everybody to Hello Spirit Yoga. Hello friends and welcome to day two of your free seven day yoga course for all levels. If you're not doing the course and just joining us today, then welcome to this yoga class for your back. Today's focus is going to be about strengthening our lower and upper back muscles, as well as encouraging flexibility into the spine and into the shoulders. We're going to be mostly on the mat throughout this entire flow. You won't be needing any props, just grab your mat and grab your water. And when you're ready, let's begin to flow. All right guys, let's begin kneeling at the back of our mats. Just find a comfortable position. If it's too much for you to kneel, then just come into a cross-legged position at the end of your mat. Let's start by closing the eyes, placing one hand over the heart and the other just above the tummy. Starting today's practice with a simple breathing exercise. So as you inhale, feel the lungs, the ribs and the tummy expand. And as you exhale, feel the tummy, the ribs and the chest contract. Inhale, chest, ribs belly, exhale, belly, ribs, chest, inhale, chest, ribs, belly, exhale, belly, ribs, chest. So just continuing with that three part breath. in with the chest, the ribs, the belly, and breathing out belly, ribs, and chest. Very good. Now slowly begin to open the eyes and release the hands. Very nice. If you're in a seated position, just come onto the knees very quickly. And then we're gonna reach your arms up as we inhale and exhale, diving the hands forward, coming into our child's pose. So letting the hips sink close towards the heels, bringing the forehead down onto the mat. Don't worry if it doesn't reach today, just do your best. Feeling that gentle stretch in the shoulders. And then begin to walk your hands to the right hand side of the mat and then let the forehead release. You should start to feel this stretch now along the left hand side of the body and the outside of the left shoulder. Try your best to keep the hips square here. And breathe. Breathing in and breathe out. Very good. Walking the hands back to center and then taking it to the other side. So reaching towards the left of side of your mat, begin to drop the forehead down, feel that stretch along the right hand side of the body. Deep breath in and exhale out. Breathing in and breathing out. Very good. 
and now begin to walk your hands back to center into child's pose let's roll through the spine coming into all fours our tabletop and taking a cat cow so we're going to arch the spine drop the belly look up and then roll through the spine pressing into the palms separate the shoulders inhale as you drop the belly exhale push into the palms bring the chin to the chest inhale drop the belly look up and exhale roll it back out chin to chest very good coming into neutral spine and let's take our first downward facing dog. So spreading the fingers nice and right, wide, sorry, palms are grounded. Let's tuck the toes, press into the palms, sending the hips up to the sky. Now you can keep a soft bend here in the knees if you're feeling restriction in the hamstrings, or go ahead and drop those heels down, extending through the back of the legs, and through the spine. Make sure to activate those shoulders here, wrapping those triceps under, biceps frame the ears. Very good. Staying with the breath. And we're gonna do a quick exercise just to warm up the spine, which is our spinal waves. So you're going to bend the knees, roll through into plank, and then bend the knees again and send the tailbone up to the sky. Very good. So roll through into plank, bend the knees, send the hips up. Roll the spine into plank, bend the knees, send the tailbone up. Very good, one more time. Rolling through into plank, bend the knees, send the tailbone up. Beautiful guys, hold your downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. Let's roll through now, back into plank position, taking knees, chest, chin. So bring the knees down, elbows pointing to the back of the room or back of the mat. Begin to lower the chest down, lower the chin slide the tummy forward very good bring the elbows underneath the shoulders let's open into sphinx or into our baby cobra pose so relax the glute muscles here open the chest open your heart drawing those shoulders away from the ears deep breath in and Exhale out. Great way just to warm up the back. Strengthening the upper back muscles. Encouraging flexibility into our spine. Beautiful. Let's slowly now release the body. Bring the hands either side of the chest push up into tabletop and then roll back down into child's pose so again let the forehead sink down towards the mat stretch out those arms in front of you let the hips sink towards the heels don't worry if they can't go all the way even if you're here today just do your best Feel that, sp that spot which allows you to relax into this position. Beautiful. And come back up into all fours position. We're going to do our puppy pose. So let's make sure that the knees are about hip width apart and the hips are directly on top of the knees. Begin to walk the hands forward towards the front of your mat. And once you've got a good distance, start to release the forehead and the chest down towards the mat. Now again, don't worry if the forehead doesn't meet the mat today. Just let it hover, starting to feel that opening in the shoulders, in the back. If it does, just rest the forehead down Feel that stretch. 
deep breath in and exhale out. Very good. Wanting to keep your hands no further than about shoulders distance apart here. Very nice. Breathing in and breathe out. Beautiful. Let's start to walk our hands back up into tabletop. Great, let's take our thread the needle. So we're going to reach the right arm up to the sky and then thread it through, palm facing towards the ceiling. Start to drop the right shoulder onto the mat and then extend the left arm out, resting your right cheek onto the mat. Making sure that the hips are still stacked on top of the knees. Lovely. Resting here, or if you want to intensify the stretch a little, see if you can turn your gaze forward and start to bring that left shoulder down so you're squaring off the shoulders here. Very nice. Breathe in and exhale. Start to push yourself up. Very good. Let's take it to the other side. So this time left arm reaches up to the sky and then thread it through, palm facing towards the ceiling. Bring that left shoulder down onto the mat. Extend the right arm out in front of you. Beautiful, resting your cheek on the mat or option to turn your gaze forward, start to draw that right shoulder down really feeling that stretch breathing in and breathing out lovely start to bring yourself back up coming into all fours position we're going to release into that puppy pose one more time. So again, make sure that the hips are nicely on top of the knees. Begin to walk the hands forward, drawing the forehead and the chest down towards the mat. Notice if you can go a little bit further this time than the one before. Feel that stretch and breathe into it. If you want to intensify this stretch a little bit, and see if you can draw your gaze up and then bring the chest down onto the floor. Very good, breathing in and exhale begin to walk yourself up and let's release into that child's pose one more time stretching the arms out in front you should start to really feel this now in the shoulders notice how the body feels here breathing in and breathe out beautiful Coming back up into all fours, and let's take our 50-50 plank, or also called bird dog position. So the left leg is going to extend out to the back, and then the right arm is going to reach forward, creating this beautiful one long line from your fingers to your toes. We're then going to send the, sorry, send the arm and the leg out to the side, and then bring it back in. So out to the side for two, back to the center. Out for three, and to center. Out for four, and to the center. Lovely, last time, bring it out, stay strong with the core and the arm, and center, beautiful. Release the hand onto the mat, keep that leg raised, and then start to lower the chest, and the tummy down towards the mat, but keep that left leg up. So we're working the lower back muscles here, really engaging it. 
lovely start to bring the right arm up reaching forward so both the left leg and the right arm are right are risen very good and then we're just going to tap the floor and lift back up tap for two and lift tap for three lift tap for four lift last one tap and lift and relax very good bring the hands to frame the chest press up into tabletop roll back into child's pose beautiful connecting with the breath here and then roll back into uh, into all fours position let's take it to the other side so this time now the right leg extends out and then bring the left arm out in front square off those hips engaging the core muscles let's reach out to the side and back to center reach out and back reach out and back two more times just like that keep the leg and the arm up beautiful release the hand back down keep that right leg up and then start to lower the chest and the tummy down and then reach the left arm out very good let's take our taps tap and up tap and up for two tap and up for three tap for four, tap for five, and relax, beautiful. You should start to really feel a nice warmth now through the body, really engaging the lower back muscles. Now going to prepare to do our full locust posture. So we're going to engage the glutes, engage the lower back, lift both the legs up, squeezing here, and then reach your arms forward, holding it here, lovely. And then bringing the arms either side, lift the chest, lift the heart, squeezing the glutes here. Stay with the breath, nice and strong. Toes are pointed. Breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze a little bit harder, lift your chest and then release the arms and the legs down very good bring the hands to frame the chest push up and release back into child's pose give that back a stretch here beautiful deep breath in and exhale out lovely rolling into all fours palms are grounded fingers spread wide let's tuck the toes send the hips up into downward facing dog beautiful again you can keep a bend in those knees or drop the heels down towards the floor lovely let's look towards the top of our mats and then slowly start to walk your feet towards your hands Take your time here, no need to rush until you come to the front of your mat, releasing into our rag doll. So grab the opposite elbows with your hands, keeping a soft bend in the knees, or you can straighten them. Just let the upper body be really heavy here. Feeling that stretch in the lower back and the hamstrings. Maybe nodding your head side to side, up and down. Do what feels good for you. Beautiful. Releasing the hands now. Inhale halfway length and slide the fingers up onto the shins. Exhale, bend the knees and slowly start to roll up the spine, coming into standing mountain, Artadasana. Beautiful, hands facing towards the front of the mat. Deep breath in, exhale out. Beautiful. 
Now going to bring our hands behind our back, interlacing the fingers and the wrists, begin to pull them away from yourself. So we're drawing the shoulders away from the neck, feeling a gentle stretch here, opening the chest. Breathe, lovely. Now staying here, if that's enough for you, or coming into our standing cobra. So start to bring the fingers down, so pulling them all the way down the body. And then if it's within your practice, start to look towards the back of your mat, arching neck, feeling that stretch now in the shoulders and the spine. Just breathe. Very good. Slowly now, release them back to standing, but keep those fingers interlaced. We're now going to start to fold from the hips and then let the hands fall over your body here. So letting them be really heavy, but keep those palms pressed against one another. Try not to let the wrists splay out like this. You wanna keep them nice and cemented together feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and all the way into the lower back and the shoulders here. Beautiful. Again, you can keep a soft bend in those knees if you're feeling restriction in the hamstrings. Just let the tummy fold over the tops of the thighs. But otherwise, just extend the legs, feel that stretch. Breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. Last breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release the hands back down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands down and transition onto our bums. Great. Grabbing behind the backs of the knees, start to slowly lower the body down one vertebra at a time until you come onto your back. Beautiful. Maybe give yourself a little rock here, side to side. And then releasing the feet down onto the mat, going to take a bridge pose, which is great to strengthen the glutes, strengthen the back. Lovely. So release the hands either side of the body Let's squeeze the glutes, lift the pelvis up, reach into our bridge. And you want to keep your knees in line with your hips so they're not too far out or going too far in. Nice and straight here, lifting from the pelvis, squeezing the glute muscles here. Lots of strength. Holding here for a few breaths. Lovely. Now you can stay here, or you have an option to bring the hands over your head, incorporating a nice stretch here for the core as well. Keep those hips high, don't let them drop. Beautiful. And now if your hands are above your head, just bring them back down either side of the body and then begin to slowly lower yourself down one vertebra at a time till your tailbone is grounded on the mat. Great. Let's bring the knees into the chest one more time. Extending the legs up to the sky, flexing the feet, we're gonna do our happy baby pose. So parting the knees, bending them down, so bringing them down either side of the chest, so you're bringing them down towards the mat. And this is where you're gonna take it to your own level, where you either grab on to your calf muscles, maybe grabbing onto the ankles, or see if you can grab onto the outsides of your feet, drawing the knees down towards the mat, opening the hips here, making sure that the tailbone is grounded. Try and relax the shoulders, relax the neck, 
just pulling down from the hands. Beautiful. Again, if you are comfortable here, you can take it one step further by grabbing hold of your big toes with your peace fingers and begin to pull them down. Beautiful. Deep breath in and exhale out. Beginning to let your body relax into this position. Maybe closing the eyes. Breathing in and breathe out. Lovely. Last breath in. And as we exhale, releasing the toes, the feet, or the ankles, extend the legs back up to the sky, keeping a flexion in the feet. Give those backs, backs of your legs a little massage here. And then slowly bending the knees, bringing the feet down to the mat. We're going to release into our reclined butterfly, our Supta Baddha Kanasa. So you're going to let the soles of the feet touch and then gently let the knees fall either side. Just let gravity do all the work here. And then just as we started our practice, we're going to bring one hand over our heart and the other just above the tummy. Focusing on the breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Feeling the oxygen flow around your body. Giving you beautiful life with each breath that you take. Feeling your heart beat in your chest. Feeling the tummy rise and fall. Becoming very aware of how the body feels right now. stay in Supta Vada Kanasa or if you want you can release the arms either side of your body and then extend one leg out at a time coming into our Shavasana. Relaxing the entire body, enjoying this moment of stillness. Your eyes are closed, releasing any tension or soreness out of your body, allowing yourself to be heavier and heavier with each exhale. Softly breathing in and softly breathing out.
Now, start to bring awareness back to your body, bringing movement to your fingers and to your toes. Start to deepen the breath. And then when you're ready, reach arms over your head, stretch out the entire body and then bend in the knees, roll over to one side and then push yourself up, coming into a comfortable cross-legged position in the middle of your mat, root down through the sit bones, let's roll the shoulders away from the ears, extending tall through the spine. Let's breathe in as we reach our arms to the sky and exhale, slowly lowering the hands together to the heart center. Bow down and thank yourself for putting aside this time for your mind, your body to work on your back and your strength and flexibility. Thank you so much for joining me here today for day two of this seven day yoga course for all levels. I wish you love and light and beautiful rest of your day. I hope to see you on the mat soon. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more yoga flows and guided meditations. I hope to see you on the mat soon. Bye for now.